Hi, my name is James Keane. I'm in the electrical control category at the 2010 National Comp for World Skills. James, how did you get started in electrical control? When I first started at work, getting into the control systems of the uh, coal loading facility that we have at work, um, just got into PLCs, fault finding on control systems. Really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd pursue it a little bit harder. What are the daily challenges that you face at work? It's mostly fault finding man, um, and maintenance and all that sort of stuff. You fault find, then you rectify the faults. That's pretty much the trickiest stuff that we have to deal with. How did you end up at World Skills? Got advertised at work, and a couple of us apprentices went and had a couple of practices, and we got really into it. Went to the regionals, did a ride at the regionals, and um, yeah, here we are, a couple of practices later. Would you like to do your skills overseas? Yeah, very much so. Um, like, first place here goes to London next year, but if that doesn't eventuate, I wouldn't mind going to the UK anyway, doing some skills over there. And I've got some family over in America, so my brother's just started as a lecky at um, Long Beach Port there, so I wouldn't mind slipping in, getting some international experience, and then bring it on home later. What type of exposure did you get as a young child to join this trade? My old man's an electrician and at home for our pumps system and all that sort of stuff because we live on a farm back home. Um, set up like irrigation, there's all control systems in that whether it be with daylight or timers. So from I guess about 15 when I started to grasp it, kind of got hooked. All these red ones are all a bunch of limit switches, proxy switches. Um, these guys here will be indication lights, one and two. Um, these ones here, they'll be to start it in forwards, start it in reverse. And these guys here, this little siren and two flashing lights, that's pretty much it. Um, down the bottom, eventually we're going to have a red, white and blue light. That'll simulate the three phases of a motor. So we're going to ramp the VSD right back down so the public can come in and they'll be able to see the pulsing lights at different speeds and all that sort of stuff. If you do good in this, how's this going to affect your career afterwards? Uh, I guess London next year is October, so the port will probably keep me on for a little bit. But if not, I'd just like to further it and go overseas, get some more international experience, um, and hopefully keep pursuing the control side more than just basic power. It's really easy to get into, and obviously you've got to study up a little bit on the different components, but it's a really rewarding trade to get into.